Hey, what's up everybody? Michael back here again, and today we're gonna to go ahead and cover an update to the Y2JB, which was released by Gagina just a couple of days ago, and we saw that this morning there was an update and it was version 1.1. So it says here in the 1.1 change log that they made Y2JB run faster. They also disabled the PSN dialog after the first sign out pop up. And then they added a set log server payload support. So it says now you can dynamically set and connect to the log server IP at runtime. And then finally, they fixed the screen login to handle new lines correctly. Now again, there is some thanks in here for those of you that tested with this. And if you want to get started with it, then you could just scroll down here and either go ahead and download the Y2JB backup file if you want to restore your PlayStation 5 or download the download zero file if you just plan on going ahead and uploading or copying over to your already jailbroken PlayStation 5. Now for this sample, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the second one here, and we're gonna do a quick update on our PlayStation 5. Okay, so back over on the PlayStation 5, again, you will need to be able to go ahead and jailbreak a system to just copy this file over. So at this point, I've went ahead and I have started the jailbreak. And what I'm going to do from here is I'm just going to take this option here, which is called FTP server and press X. Okay, and so that is running on port 2121. And let's go ahead and let's switch over to our PC. Okay, over on your PC, just go ahead and grab that zip file and you will wanna go ahead and extract it because we are about to FTP this to our PlayStation 5. Now go ahead and download and install and run FileZilla. And from there, going inside of the site manager, as you can see, I've already got mine set up. It's got my IP address here and the port is 2121. Encryption is only use plain and then select the connect button here. Okay, there is our PlayStation 5's hard disk drive. So we're gonna scroll down here and we're gonna go into the folder that is user and then download and then look for a folder that is named PPSA01650. Either create this folder if you don't already have it. And if you do have it, go ahead and go inside of it. And I'm just gonna grab that download zero dot dat that we just extracted and put that right into that folder and we are going to select overwrite here. And once that file is copied over, all you would have to do is to just come back over here and run your YouTube application. Now, again, I did show how to do this in the previous video if you do want to check that out and you will need to be running this version 1.000.003. So let's go ahead and give it a shot and see how that it works now. Okay, wow, that is much, much, much cleaner. Okay, so remote JS loader, and it's got a port that it's listening on. And we do see that it says this one pop-up that you're signed out of the PlayStation Network. So we'll hit OK there. Now note here in the log, it does show that the PSN dialog was disabled and it says safe to close the PSN sign out dialog now. And again, it is waiting for the remote JS loader. Now in the last video, we examined the payloads folder and we went ahead and ran this hello world sample. Well, now as you can see, the newest one has been added and that is the set log server. Now this is not gonna be something that end users are going to be using much of, but I just wanna call it out that this one has been added to the payloads. Now again, there is this payload sender, which we used, and I think a good exercise would be coming back over here and just getting everybody back up to speed with this. So if you want to try these samples, just come up here and go to the code and then go to download.zip. 
And I just went ahead and put this in that same working folder that we were working out of. And we'll just go ahead and extract that. And once extracted, if you go into the folders here, you will see payloads. And from inside of this, if you just go ahead and click somewhere up in this bar and you type in CMD, then it will bring you to a command prompt where you would be able to run this command in order to inject that payload. Now, it's pretty easy. You just need to have Python installed, and then you would type in the payload sender.py, your PS5's IP address, 50,000 for the port number, and then we are navigating into the hello world folder, and then the hello world.js. And so if you go ahead and you press enter on this, back over on your PlayStation 5, you will see this right here appear. And there it is, it says, hello from remote JS. Now you can also use Netcat GUI if you would like to. And the way that you can do that is again, just by supplying your PS5's IP address here, 50,000 for the port number, and then for the payload here, and you will find that there is a payloads folder. And then again, there is hello world. And it doesn't show anything in here, but if you just put an asterisk in here, you can see there is a hello world.js, and that is the file that it will inject. So back over on my PlayStation 5 here, if I press inject payload, then right there it goes. It is working just as intended. Now with those, there's also this tool over here by Master S. And if you scroll down into the assets here, you can see that there is a version of this that you can go ahead and download and start using. And it looks very similar to this right here. You punch in your IP address as well as the port number, and then you select which service you would like to use, and then which payload would you like to run. And you don't really have to do things like go through that command prompt that we did earlier, or even configure all of that through Netcat GUI. So all you need to do is really just extract the latest beta version and you'll find a executable here. And then from here is where we'll punch in our IP address and the port number is already set for us. So we're gonna select save here and then we'll leave it on the Python service here. And now without configuring anything, we'll just select the hello world payload and as soon as I pressed it, there we go. We can see the hello from remote JS. Back over on our desktop, you will see that this is just running the command prompt for you. But anyways, it's a, another tool that you can use just to get up and running. And so anyways, this is just a couple of different options. Again, right now we don't have anything chained with it. So we can't run the full exploit at the moment, but again, at least we have the user land part working and now we're just waiting for a kernel implementation. Anyways, thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Michael.